we would like to explain here about the holonomic gradient method and applications to statistics. Let theta be a parameter vector. We consider an unnormalized probability distribution on the t space. The function z is called the normalizing constant. Then f divided by z is a probability distribution on the set omega. By the probability distribution, we mean a non-negative function on omega such that the integral over omega is 1. This is a very famous probability distribution. It's the normal distribution. For this unnormalized distribution f, the normalizing constant is this function. Numerical evaluation of the normalizing constant z of theta is a fundamental problem in statistics. The holonomic gradient method is a new method which can be applied to a broad class of unnormalized probability distributions. We can apply the holonomic gradient method to holonomic functions. So what is a holonomic function? A function f of the variables x1 through xn is called a holonomic function if it satisfies an ordinary differential equation with polynomial coefficients for each variable xi. In other words, the function f is a holonomic function when the function is annihilated by n ordinary differential operators of this form. In a landmark work, Zeilberger introduced the notion of holonomic functions and applied it to algorithmically prove special function identities and combinatorial identities with systems of linear partial differential equations following important property. If f of x1 through xn is a holonomic function in x, then the integral over the domain omega of the function f with respect to the variable xn is a holonomic function in x1 through xn minus 1. This property can be proved by the theory of d modules. Zeilberger also gave algorithms to construct a system of differential equations satisfied by the integral. The most general algorithm for this construction was given by Toshinoru Owaku in 1997. He used Grobner bases in the ring of differential operators. We come back to this algorithm later. Based on these works, we proposed to apply these methods to statistics. This is the holonomic gradient method. It can be summarized as follows. When f of theta and t is a holonomic function, the normalizing constant satisfies a system of linear partial differential equations, which can be algorithmically constructed by Grobner bases. We evaluate the normalizing constant and its derivatives by a system using methods in numerical analysis. The holonomic gradient method consists of three steps. The first step is to derive a system of linear partial differential equations for the normalizing constant and translate the system into a Paffian system, which is, roughly speaking, a set of ordinary differential equations with respect to the parameter vector theta for the normalizing constant. These two steps can be performed by a symbolic computation, the Grobner basis method, if the size of the problem is moderate. The remaining steps utilize numerical computation. The second step is to evaluate the normalizing constant and its derivatives at an initial point. To do this, we can use numerical integration for a rough evaluation or a series expansion for a more accurate evaluation. The last step is to extend the evaluated values to other points by using the Paffian system and a numerical solver of ordinary differential equations, such as the Runge-Kata method. Let us consider the first step with an example. We consider this normalizing constant. Here is a demonstration of Owaku's algorithm. So this part is the system of differential equations satisfied by this kernel function. And theta stands for the x in this expression. Let's run this. Then we get this ordinary differential equation. This agrees with this one. This is a general method 
But unfortunately, the complexity is high in general. And so it is nice to study Paphian systems for each of these problems in statistics. In the case that the parameter space has one variable, the Paphian system is this first order ordinary differential equation. Once we obtain this ordinary differential equation, numerical evaluation of the normalizing constant z can be accomplished by the Runge-Kata method in numerical analysis. We have given a quick introduction to what the holonomic gradient method is. Finally, let us solve a problem in directional statistics by the holonomic gradient method. This is called the unnormalized von Mises distribution on the unit circle. The normalizing constant is this integral. Let us remember that the holonomic gradient method consists of three steps. Let us perform the first step for finding Paphian system. In this case, the Paphian system is this. It can be obtained easily by Oaku's algorithm. The Paphian system consists of first order ordinary differential equations for each direction. The gradient of this vector valued function f is expressed in terms of f. Initial values can be obtained by a series expansion of this integral. We can get numerical approximate values of the normalizing constant by solving the differential equations numerically. Let us use these values for the Fisher's maximal likelihood estimate. And we can first ask, what is the maximal likelihood estimate? It is to find a parameter vector theta such that this probability is maximized. Let us perform the maximal likelihood estimate for this wind direction data. It is a kind of curve fitting problem for this histogram. The horizontal axis is the direction in degree and the vertical axis is the frequency. We want to find a parameter vector for the von Mises distribution which fits this histogram. We use the gradient descent to find the maximum of this likelihood function. You can see that curves approach the best fitting curve uh, step by step. Holonomic gradient method is new and very promising in statistics. We statisticians did not know the notion of holonomic functions. Many functions in statistics are in fact holonomic. Hence, this new method is widely applicable in statistics. Right now, I am exploring many problems in statistics from this viewpoint. We have seen that we can use a Paphian system, which is a system of first-order ordinary differential equations, to numerically evaluate the normalizing constant of a holonomic, unnormalized probability distribution. We call the method holonomic gradient method. Thank you for listening.